Hey everybody, on today's video, we're gonna answer another viewer question. This one is from Steve in Boulder. Steve asks, what is better, term life insurance, universal life insurance, or whole life insurance? So Steve, we're gonna go ahead and get that question answered for you, so stay tuned. All right, Steve, um, your question, what's better? Term life insurance, universal life insurance, or whole life insurance. I think they're all good. It just depends on what your purpose is for the insurance. So let's let's break this down a little bit. So on term life insurance, term life insurance is probably the most cost effective from an affordability standpoint insurance policy you can buy. But there's a reason for that. So what I mean, it's the most affordable from a cash flow perspective. Your premiums are much less on term life insurance than they are any other type of policy out there. The reason for that is actuarially the insurance company knows over 90% of those policies are never gonna pay out. And the reason for that is they set that term out and they price it appropriately based on your mortality tables. So if you buy time term life insurance at age 40 and it's gonna expire at age 60, they actually know that 90 plus percent of those people are not gonna pass away at age 60 unless it's a car crash or some unfortunate event like that. Um, so term life insurance is priced appropriately because um, because most people just won't use it. But with that being said, I don't think it's bad insurance. We use term life insurance quite a bit uh, for younger folks, maybe to pay off a mortgage, put kids through college, satisfy some of those needs and those expenses when you're in the earlier phases of your life. But then as we as we get a little bit older and maybe that level of insurance isn't quite as important, it will fall off and we will supplement that with a different type of life insurance policy. So if you use a universal or a whole life insurance policy, I actually think those are good products as well. They serve a little bit different purpose. And in my opinion, they save a little bit different, serve a little bit different purpose. Uh, the premiums are going to be a little bit more expensive. There's no doubt about it. But the insurance, especially on the whole life insurance side of the world, um, it's guaranteed for life. So that insurance policy with those provisions built in there will be around until the day you die. So it's never going to expire or term out like a term life insurance policy. Whole life and universal life insurance policies, they also build a cash value that can be incredibly important later on in life. So there may be a, a day, you know, that comes uh, comes along in retirement where you decide, I just don't need this insurance anymore. Well, if that's something that you decide, you can actually borrow from that contract or start to pull some of that cash back out of the contract tax-free. So in some situations, a universal or whole life insurance policy, it'll actually work similar to a Roth IRA where you can extract that cash back out without any taxes. So it's a tax-free income source for you in retirement as well. Additionally, Insurance that's guaranteed or or if it's built properly will last you the rest of your life. Um, the newer newer designs of insurance is more of a hybrid design, and this is what we use. Um, Steve, so if you're concerned about in-home health, assisted living, or long-term care, a whole life policy or a universal life policy, well, actually that death benefit will convert into in-home health, assisted living, or long-term care. So it actually serves more than one purpose. So if you get sick, that life insurance cut the, that life insurance policy will pay for those benefits for you as well. If you don't get sick, it's still a life insurance policy. It'll transfer to your heirs. And if you need to get money back out of it for income needs, you can also extract the cash out of it. Always remember some important components about life insurance that nobody ever recognizes. All three of those policies are 100% income tax-free benefits to your heirs. If you need it for healthcare, in-home health, assisted living, or long-term care, those benefits are also 100% income tax-free, preserving your other assets and not putting you in a higher tax bracket to pay for that care. And again, the death benefits on all of those, the, the living benefit on those, as well as the cash value. You can pull the cash value back out of the contract if it's done correctly, 100% income tax-free. So um, I hope that helps answer your question, Steve. Uh, give us a call if you need anything. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like the information we're bringing to you. Have a great day.